it's partly because I discovered a new vocal register that I like singing in. Um, and it's about an octave lower than I used to sing. It's, it's the comfortable place that my voice is. And in fact, I discovered it really when I did that piece called The Ship, which you're showing in Helsinki. On the ship, there's um, one part of that, there's a vocal line that I'm singing, which is quite low and ends on a low C, which is a very low note, and I can't always reach it. I can only get it some days. <laughs> I can always get a low D, but the C is, is controversial. Um, but in that, it, it goes down to that low C. Um, and I really enjoyed singing that so much. I thought I become a different person when I sing this. Um, and in a way it was, it was a response to a problem I've had with popular music for a few years, which is that most of the time we're all still pretending we're 18. You know, most, most of the singing is being done by people who are actually 55, but they're still acting like they're 21 in the song. And I thought, why are we still doing this? It's a little bit like until the 1960s, any English singer had to sing with an American accent. They all did it. A lot of English singers still do, but for a long, long time, it was extraordinary if somebody actually sp sung with an English accent. Uh, one of the first people who did was Robert Wyatt. Hmm. Robert sings with a very, very English accent. And I can remember how surprising that was when I first heard it. Um, somebody wasn't pretending to be American. Um, so in a way, the history of pop music is a history of dropping certain pretensions. And I think one of the pretensions we can now drop is I'm 22 years old. I'm not 22 years old, I'm 73. Why am I gonna sing like a 22 year old? Um, I'm not interested in the same things as 22 year olds actually. Um, some of them, but there's <laughs> quite a lot I'm not. <laughs> I'm, I'm not interested in um, romance in the same way. <laughs> Um, so, or, or relationships, I should say. I don't want relationships to be at the center of music. Um, at least not those relationships between an I and a you. I think we is the relationship that I'm interested in explo exploring now. Us, what, what are the relationships there? And by us, I mean the big us, you know, all of us. Um, well, those kinds of thoughts require a different voice. And when I did the ship, I found this voice. Um, and I thought, what about if I re-entered the landscape? I told you earlier how I'd abandoned the landscape. I didn't want to be in it any longer. Because I didn't want to be the guide you know, I didn't want to be the person leading you through saying, look at this and pay attention to that and don't look over there. It's not very interesting. But what about if I'm just the, not the guide, but the companion, um, the person who, who goes along with you on, on the walk um, and makes a few comments and listens to your comments. So, so I started to think of a different role for the singer. I don't, by any means claim that I'm the only person who's ever had this idea, um, but it was for me a new idea. <laughs> 